Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Lupo campaign. This is episode 15. We pick it up from turn 62 in the autumn season of 206. So hopping back into the game, uh, we uh, ended the last episode um, as Lupo was about to go north. Uh, we're going to go hunt down a few more heads. Uh, as we can see, Guo Si has been recruited into an army, so we can finally attack him. He's our spy. He's been recruited here in Bohai. And Gong Sun although he's, I don't think he's actually on the field. That's the thing. I think he still has himself on the court. So we have to keep killing his generals to make him summon himself, basically. So we're going to go do that. And other than that, we're going to have Ma Chao here, our son and daughter plus wife, or son in law and daughter plus wife. Going to come right back uh, through the in front where we just lost the farmland and took our food to negative during the end turn. And we're going to send uh, Guo Jia here to maybe go this way and start uh, taking down Kuan territory uh, as Ma Chao tries to get his way back over here. And we're going to try to give most of this back to the High Empire. Uh, some of this we'll give to Liu Bei to appease him. And we have a contract uh, on Kuan right now for the High Empire. But instead of giving him the territory through the contract, uh, we can maintain this highest tier just by fighting the armies. And we can take the territory and then trade it to him uh, for more diplomatic points. Um, elsewhere, uh, this vassal here controlled by Yuan Yao is a little bit concerning. Uh, he has a full stack and he doesn't really like us. Uh, and he has the defiant personality, which makes him unlikely to stay a vassal for long. But I feel like uh, we can trust not to lose Yang Zhou for a little bit and send Guo Jia up. So let's jump back into here. And also another thing is that our southern army has made landfall and they're going to make their way back uh, to stop Liu Bao's invasion. Uh, and I don't know if he's actually coming to restore his land or just jumping to our territory. If he jumps to our territory, we have an army waiting for him. Um, if he comes to attack us, we'll be fine over here as well. So we're pretty set up all across the map. And let's see, Guo Jia leveled up. Uh, we're probably just going to get him fire arrows. And other than him... Okay, so she's the wife of Huang Zhu. We're keeping her. Probably just get her some extra assignments. This one's the industrial exploitation. Let's try to get that. Alright, no one interesting. We got the Imperial Bow. So Guo Tu is going to pick up the bow as well. So now he completes both the uh, Tacticianer design for plus 10 melee as well as the Celestial Fury for 50% range firing rate, which is actually really, really strong. And Guo Tu is only 28 and he has a pretty decent uh, background bonus of 10% campaign movement range. Of course, the minus 15% of avoiding ambushes is, you know, pretty bad, but we can live with that. And other than the fact he doesn't have a good horse, he's pretty well built, all silver items. And we're going to try to get him a few good traits or skills, and then we're going to send him out onto the battlefield as a strategist next. Um, so let's get started with Ma Chao's army, who's a little beaten up after that fight. We're probably just going to move them to here. Just to give them an extra turn to rest before going against this army. Zhang Yang's also moved out of his territory, which is really strange. Um, I didn't think you'll get this brave, but considering that half of his army is basically our spy controlled, we should be totally fine. He's going to have a surprise when his wife turn on him. Uh, this is the faction heir. So with Ma Chao going there, we're just going to march our way over here. Yeah, both of them don't have reach it. We might get... Mm, he probably should go down this way. We might get him reach. And then make him lead, just because flexibility gives extra um, replenishment in the army that Guo Jia wouldn't have available to him. We're going to come over here. If Liu Bei doesn't want to do his own job, we'll do it for him and trade him for diplomatic points. Our southern army is going to move into Ba Dong. I'm just trying to think which way is the best approach. Should we go down the coast and invite an attack on us? And then, you know, turn over here into the city. Or should we go through uh, Guan Zhi's territory here? See, we can go through his territory and trade it to the High Empire. Mm, not a bad idea, but 
I think I'm gonna vote for this route. We can probably march as well. Right, that way he can't actually attack us. And we can threaten the city very soon. He might turn around because of it. Yeah, I know for a fact, since he has no siege weapons, and since the AI has been landing here repeatedly, he's going to land here too. And he's probably going for Xiangyang. Uh, we're probably going to be waiting for him at Xiangyang. There is a... Let's see what the percentage is. I don't want to see the trade. I want to see the ambush percentage. 80%. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, there's a caravan here, so we're checking the trade route. There we go. So we'll have the help of the garrison here as well. Uh, and we'll get to attack him. Now, we are probably going to have to shift our tax rate up, just so we are not in negative food this turn. Uh, when you're in negative food, you lose reserves. When you lose enough reserves, you, all your troops start attritioning. Our main force. Time to cross the Yellow River. So, I don't need to skip ahead to any fight. We're killing all the generals that we can find in Gongsun Zan's faction. We can literally just step over. Yeah, there's really no need to march either because we can't attack this turn anyways. Yeah, they're fine. Building wise, let's see, they're almost over a million pop. We're not upgrading this. All right, we need a reform for this one. Ooh, they dropped below a million. Mm. The administrator is not really... Oh, actually, we can fix that easily. Where, who is this guy? Lu Meng, right? Yeah. Lu Meng, where are you? What we can do is let him borrow the labor recruiter. Dan Wei actually doesn't need him. He's plus 8 pop per county, I believe. So that should offset some of the population loss. Um, yeah, it'd be plus 2k now. So we can actually have a growing population in Xiangyang uh, while maintaining the full uh, negative 100 popu uh, population, uh, public order. Right, mouthful. And Dan Wei will still be quite positive with 12k growth. So he himself, with the results that will offset all um, losses of uh, public water. And we can even boost it a little bit more. I'm sure we have someone who's a... Uh, there we go. Who's a uh, resolve. Ooh, plus 10 peasantry. Right, we got it off somebody's dead body. So that's helpful. So still 12k. I think once it hit 200, maybe we'll see a little increase. But 12k is great like there's no complaining of this tier and the 10% peasantry obviously helps in uh, Yangzhou where we actually have peasantry income uh, Xiangyang's good let's see Yangzhou here everything everything is reform lock that's the problem we don't have the reform for the final tiers of any of these buildings yeah so we'll just enjoy the income that it provides 4400 not that bad Baton, we're keeping. Yeah, all the buildings are done. Just take a look at the spy. Uh, just keep all your points. We don't need you to do anything crazy. We're here to fight you. Yeah, he's going to stay right there. Tsai Zhong. Uh, so he's in the army inside Baton. I think he's in this army. So he'd be in quite for a surprise when we attack his capital. He's also in the army. We're going to let him hover here. Mm. We could definitely take down some characters in the armies to force them to, to leave. That way... Oh my god, we can't use it on anyone? Oh, we can use it on Zanba, but he wouldn't leave with minus 30. He would just be unhappy. Right, so it'd be quite a waste. Alright, cancel. Yeah, she just need points because we need to turn her before the big battle. Okay, so that's fine. All the spies are done. Quick peek at if we could do anything here. <laughs> Koron's had enough. Oh, Shi Huang. Let's see. He's down here. But if he's willing to pay us, 
Oh, he's in Tongwu area. Okay. If he's willing to pay us for a piece, we'll take it. Um. Yeah, we can dump him one of these slightly useless armors. That one's actually quite useful for, you know, administrators. This one, it's like a commander-only armor. Honestly, this can go. We have way better ones. And we would like some... Oh, he's poor. Do we just want some diplomatic points? Wang Long likes us. He likes us. Liu Bei likes us. Liu Ao doesn't like this. Yeah, we can do this. Just, you know, just a peace deal is fine. Make Liu Bei like us more. Doesn't hurt. Hmm... Oh, it's also it's kind of interested in an alliance with us. That's something. All right, we're good. Let's just continue. Alrighty, Gong Sun Du and Gong Sun Zan's piecing out. Uh, they see, they see a collective threat appearing on the map. Okay, Liu Yao is attacking the Han Empire. Yeah, it's okay if the South falls. Uh, we're gonna keep the Han Empire alive in the North, alive and well. We're gonna try to trade him so much territory. Uh, he's going to be our trusty neighbor in the north. Okay, so Zhongyang actually marches himself down. There's another army threatening over here. Hmm, this is strange. They're being more aggressive than I anticipated. Alright, we're going to have this fight clearly to break him over here. I'm now debating whether we want Guojia to be doing cleanup duty here. Oh, Liu Bei has moved out. Interesting. Maybe he's actually listening to our war coordination for once. Yeah, if that's the case, we might we might send this army back over here. Zhang Yang's clearly coming down to Chen. Right. Change our plans. Because we can't really keep Luoyang undefended either. We can obviously give this away. Hmm. In the grand scheme of things, we can trade it to Tal Tal for the farmland. Hmm, mm, we'll think about it. Uh, let's see down south. Alright, we have a yellow turban rebellion here that I don't really care about. He's come back to defend the city. Uh, he cares so much about his capital. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of armed men. <laughs> I don't know if we can beat that. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if we can beat this. City garrison. We're talking about a really big city garrison too. Like a top tier one in a regional city. Yeah, we have to kind of digest this fight slowly. So since Liu Bao moved back, we can move back. Mmm, this is a tough call. We can ambush, try to catch one off guard, but then we can't heal because it's not in our own territory. We do have a night battle, I believe. Yeah. We could take them down one at a time. I think that's probably the best plan. Take the army outside first, night battle it. Okay, so that part is going to be a big fight. Sun Tzu is running south, good for him. Alright, so we're going to get started with Lu Bu. We're going to take the salt mine. Alright, this will just be a fight. We'll fight and cut out. I don't want to take any losses. So, see you guys at the end. Alrighty, clean fight. Alright, so we made landfall in the north. Time to, time to take down a couple of heads. Um, let's see. We have a level up here. Rimon leveled up as an administrator. We're going to give him 15% income from industry. Guo Tu leveled up. Uh, we're going to pick up this for extra trade route in our faction. Yuan Tan. Eventually we'll give him a faction of his own. We'll treat him nicely. Um, he has interesting bonuses, but only, you know, we don't really need family estate income. Right now, just assignment. Okay, that's good. Right, let's keep fighting. Lots of fight to go. Alright, we'll take back our farmland. Okay, 
Yeah, probably not going to be the easiest fight here either. Uh, a couple of mounted archers. That's really annoying. They just have a lot of men in general. We should be okay. Let's fight. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. We're in a you know typical farmland setup. Um, they're gonna be just charging at us. I'm pretty sure. We're just gonna maybe fight in this little hill here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Right behind. Now our front line is basically this guy. He is our, you know, arrow soaking unit. Uh, we'll have these two. I don't think they have any actual cavalry. They just have some ranged cavalry, but we'll protect it nonetheless. And if anyone wants to try to flank us from behind, we'll have this to protect us. Uh, we'll randomly put the fire on the, you know, poor guy's farmland. I mean, the oil itself will like, destroy their farmland. But, you know, it's war. We can't help it. Um, these guys with guerrilla deployment, we could get cute. If we can find a patch of tree thick enough to hide us. Mm, that's thick enough. So let's hide them right here. He's completely beat. He's just going to rest in the back. And he's going to be a more flanking unit. Probably hiding him here. Let's call him four. We can shoot a couple arrows in the back for now. She can be here to decrease the arrow damage done to us. And Machao can go have fun. Let's go. Alright. Oh, my mistake. They have four cavalry units that can actually charge us. Okay. Anyone wants a duel? We don't know. They're hidden. Well, let's go find them. They don't want a duel. Okay. Then we'll just wait. This will be a fight where we'll let them uh, approach us. That's a bad translation. La yun dong yun dong ba means it's time to get a move on, like time to you know get a workout. That's a good translation. It means we're nagging so much, just on and on and on. Enough. Alright. We might attract some of their unit's attention by pulling these guys out, or we can just be really patient. This is our main concern here. Well, we don't really need to manually fire. Our AI knew what we were worried about here. Does he have Wisdom River? He doesn't. Okay, they both have Tenacity of Steel. Interesting approach by their cavalry. Because we might actually just counter charge that. Oh! Uh, that's a surprise. Yes. And why not? Husband and wife go to battle. And the mom is going to help out, you know, with a little bit of uh, heavenly grace here. Help the daughter and son-in-law. Well, actually, stepdaughter. Uh, take this off. Oh, it's really small range. Who should we help? Uh, probably help the son-in-law. Oh, he's not in range. Hold on. This is a really small range. There we go. Really short range. Alright, time for you guys to come out. And you can roar on them, all that group right there. We're getting shot. But I don't want to reduce the percentage on them. Oh, they ran into them. Good. We're counter cav, so we should be okay. Oh, guess what? We got two that's interested in fighting us. You go clean up the range. You two go counter charge these two. There we go. Alright, he's winning. Mother-in-law favors you. Alright, they just keep absorbing damage. Alright, good. They should be fine. 
Although those range archers might do some damage. Come on, Ma Chao, you should you should be quicker than this. Right, they tore through that guy. Alright, stop chasing. Stop over chasing. See, she's winning without any help. She got Tenacity of Steel going on as well. Ma Chao, you're a slight disappointment here. Whoa, what? She lost? Oh no, she won, but it displayed us a defeat. Ugh, this always happens. Alright, time to charge the, the range units. Stick on the horse archers if you can. Take on that. You two, charge that. Alright, he finally won. Well, he beheaded the person. Oh my god. Brutal. Alright, get him. Get him. I think we won. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't see any units standing to fight us. Alright. Definitely wasn't a clean fight, but we did it. Alright, now I don't know what Zhang Yan's army is going to do. If they attack us, they're dead. Can we reach them? Oh, we already moved. That's right. To the south we go. Alright, we got this army here. We're going to night battle them. Let's see. Liu Bao's army is in the front, I believe. Let's wiggle it out. No, her army is in the front. Okay, that's a very, you know, good army. Not going to lie. Uh, let's see. I just want to check if there's anyone in those two army willing to be a turncoat. But no. Okay. That's totally fine. We'll just start with this army then. Okay, they have... If we fight the fight as is... 3,800 men. Maybe 39. 39. Uh, 38, 97. <sighs> Including a lot of really good units. Imperial defenders. I mean, it doesn't really hurt us because we're not actually running any archers or crossbowmen. These guys, you know, the range block chance is going to block a giant bolt or a fire rock. But they have tons of anti cav. They just have tons of units. Not many range units. Two archers here we're talking about. Plus three more, plus five more, okay, seven, plus three more, ten archer units, two cavalry here, three, four, four cav units, and the rest are all basically shielded infantry. Mm. I'm just think if we can actually beat them in a straight up fight, because it will make the siege a lot easier. I mean, if we had Wibu in the army, it'd be a, you know, a given. They also have six generals. Okay, Liu Bao is the strongest one. I'm super tempted to actually try this. No night battle means no morale hit. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Let's challenge ourselves. Looks like really bad odds, but let's go for it. Okay, we have gorgeous weather. Very forested map. Hmm, reinforcement coming from this side. Oh, we see the city in the background. That's cool. Um, the way they're positioned, I feel like they want to join up before they come. We don't have guerrilla deployment on the siege weapons, and I'm not making the mistake of moving them too much again, because that's going to be disaster. We're probably just going to fight at this choke. Mm, not that front. We want a good shooting time from when they come out of the forest. I don't like the angle though. Maybe here. Maybe we'll just put them here. Right. And we get a 
pretty good view for most part as they come out from this direction. The plan is to just leave the range units because they're going to run out of ammo and they're going to all die, which is something we're going to be acceptable here. And what we're going to do, like how we're going to win the fight, is by making our units make a big stand at the back. Like we're going to do something like this, something like this. Put this guy probably here. Actually, maybe. Maybe here. Alright, they need to stay alive. They're very useful in this fight. And... Hmm. We might just make a little boxes in the back. Like, we'll let the enemy melee unit run into this. How do we... I'm trying to think, how do we protect the units in the back from... I guess we just protect them from range damage by killing all the range units. Sorry, I'm just taking a while to think about how to fight this fight. Sacrificing that group. We're letting them just get all their ammo out, and then that's it. And then our main fight is going to be over here. With the cavalry coming in to help. The enemy units will crash into us. We'll stack our squares a little bit so all the units can actually fight. Right, so we have no overlapping sides, basically. Mm, instead of zigzag, maybe like a W thing would be better. Or like a V shape. Where we funnel them into like a gap. Kind of like that. And these guys... Either circle, but circle kind of punishes your melee attack rate, but most of these do. Shield walls play best. Um, we can simulate a square with a shield wall, kind of like... Okay, so this is like a forward-facing part, and then we'll do like a backward-facing part. And that's kind of a shield, that's kind of a square. But we're all assuming that there's not going to be any enemy range damage that's coming in or else this is a very silly formation yeah that that's actually I'm not very happy with that maybe I mean logically the enemy will come somewhere like this alright we'll do that we'll do that We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be happy with that. He'll be in the front. Dan Wei will be with the army in the back. He will come over here too. Alright, let's start. Run into one of these little squares. Probably the one in the back. Dan Wei can be in this one. We're going to go hell barrel our way out of this. Try to find a big bunch and kill off all the range units. Not dueling. Yeah. What can go wrong, right? We lose the entire army. Alright, there's their enemy forces. Wish we had poison arrows. They just do so much more casualty count than, you know, health arrows. It's like basically the same damage, but then continuous damage afterward. Now, where are they in this forest area? <laughs> we can't find the enemy army. Ah, there they are. Alright, we want to kill range units, but we don't want to lose our horse. 
All right, so we want to kind of maybe hide right now in the beginning. We don't want all the cavalry to come at us because they don't see anyone else. They only see us. Maybe like a hell of arrow across this would be pretty nice. Let's relocate through the forest. What's our firing range on this? Uh, only over here. Okay, so it's still far away. They're still coming after us. Alright, let's get one shot in and then get out of here. Uh, come out, come out. Uh, this unit right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, get out. No bells after us. Interesting. Alright, let's run this guy down. Roar. We just, we just want to take down all the range units. Alright, that unit's gone. Good. There's a crossbow here. I actually want to kill all of them. Because there's a garrison fight right after this. He's going to be so fatigued by the end of this fight. Okay, get another shot across here. Not bad. Mm, anyone really exposed? This is kind of exposed. A little dangerous. Alright, back off, back off. Yeah, these G militias are really annoying. Okay, it's not bad. Not, not into those, not into those, not into those. Oh, he's alone. He's alone. There we go. Another range unit's gone. Alright, that's a big pile of range units. You guys lost? All right, I guess we route them first. That's the first priority. We'll do the chasing a bit later. Like like now. Roar. All right, get those first. Eventually their cavalry will realize the main army's over there. They have no idea where the rest of the troops are. They only see Gunny right now. They're so far away. Let's wipe this unit out. Perfect. Yeah, the man's gonna be exhausted. That's crossbow? Good. Alright, they're probably gone. Where's the boundary? Oh, here. Okay, we'll get a few kills in. He's at 567. Hard working man. Alright, he got all of them. I don't know if we can actually get all the crossbow. Oh, we might run into. <laughs> Oh wow, we might actually run into a bunch of traps. Let's run out this way first. We'll lead them a little closer. We kill like what? Four range units? Six left? Maybe he'll get to match uh, Lu Bu's kill count. I think our highest one was like a thousand something. Like actual kill during battle, not those like delegated to him afterward. Let's see. Yep, we're beat. Look at that red tired leg right there. 
All right, there's another range unit right here. Another one right there. Okay, we still want to help arrow down these guys. Like, cavalry is not a bad choice either, but these melee units are the ones I kind of want to whittle down. Can we shoot across all of them? Come on. Anytime. Waited too long. These guys... Not, oh, maybe they'll get a line. Maybe they'll get a line. Okay. Uh, get out. That wasn't a good one. I think we killed like only, what, 54? Alright, the enemy cavalry is approaching our range, uh, our siege weapons. Damn, we should actually go over here to distract. Maybe I should just put the spear in front of them, given how slow the infantry and then there's a lag. We could have just wiped out the range units first. Miscalculation. Mm. Okay, okay. There's a there's range units that's slipping out. We're gonna go take care of them. Alright, the the siege weapons are starting to fire. We'll start a forest fire first. Kill off these archers. Kill off these archers. And there's this one unit here. Alright. Oh! They sent their cavalry back. That's no good. That's very bad. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Slow down, slow down. Are they charging this? Instead of this? Wait, wait, what kind of logic is this? You guys are charging our spear formations. Oh my god, look at the generals. They're all gonna lose their horses. Bye. Bye. Wait, how come no charge reflect on her? Wow, they suicided their cavalry. Wow, next level logic. So this worked, guys. This worked. <laughs> Uh, or getting attacked. Let's move him back. Charge him onto something. Yeah, so these vanguards just like wreck themselves on these spear walls. Men, melee evasion. Get him. Uh, can he get out? I feel like he's stuck. Yeah, he's tired. Come on, get back. Alright, take care of that. Actually, come back and take care of this. They don't actually need any help with the horses. Come on, get back into your square. Is he back? Yeah, he's got out. Good. Charge on that. You guys can actually stop firing for a little bit. Save some ammo for the infantry. I can't believe the cavalry completely ignored the range units. Get him. Can't wait, come back. I feel like if we're only dealing with cavalry here, they should really go in. We should just. We should really just flatten out our defense. Alright, maybe they're now getting smart. Oh, maybe they are actually getting smart. Hold on. Oh no, oh no, they made it. Come on guys, stop them. Stop them. Ah. 
or losing units. See, that's what they should have done. I was ready to sacrifice this group. Stop them. Now make sure they don't come back. Stop the charge. Stop the charge. Ah, uh, they're going to lose a couple of men there. All right, you guys can turn back your fire at will because there's enemies over there. All right, they're both routed. Good. They can take a rest. They can also take a rest. We'll let the siege weapons use up all their ammo. And then they can just fight for their lives over here. We probably want shield wall. Yeah. Huh? What happened with this? Misclicked. There we go. We want this group to be here, I guess. Get back on the machines. Fire at will. Okay. Good. Now we're going back to the planned programming here. Anyone want to duel me? Oh, Liu Bao. Oh, please. Liu Bao against Dian Wei. Is this even fair? He's 64. Oh. I spoke too soon. Should we even make this fair? Yeah. Not, not, not about fairness here. Oh, come on. Are their cavalry going to charge the line again? Well, they're almost done with their ammo. We don't really have to care about them that much now. Are they hidden? That's the key. They got to stay hidden so the enemy unit don't come on top of them. He's not hidden. There we go. Perfect. Here comes Suicidal Cavalry again. This gap's a little big. I should have closed it out a little bit. Okay, so they're done. Just retreat. Ah, we missed one range unit. Here, go take care of it. Oh, we missed two. Liu Bao is doing surprisingly well. I mean, he has good items, I guess. And fallen friend, fallen relative buff. All right, working out as planned, all the units I've engaged. We'll do a roar. And then we'll go out against range units. Stay hidden. All right, you two can also leave so you guys don't get killed. Leave the machine. Are we actually losing here? We're still not below... Uh, th no, we're finally uh, uh, below 20% health. And we activated Cry of the Forest. 500% damage. And immediately we chop him up. Nice. Oh, we're kind of stuck here. Charge, charge through, charge through. All right, we're be patient. Our line will hold. Spear guard might have a little trouble, but it's fine. Get out, get out. We don't need to fight you guys. We're here for the range units. Uh, there's a lot of spear in the in the forest too. Got to be careful. All right, you guys can leave now. All right, so we end up not losing any of our siege weapons, and they got all their fire through. Be patient. Be patient. They have more units. All right, nice seconds till we can give our units a boost. They're having the most pressure here. Get him through. Collapse on that. 
All right, what we're going to do is we're going to send this guy right into that. One, two, three. Boost. All right, someone got to take care of that mess. Roar. And then you can go take care of that mess that you should have taken care of earlier. That was your job. Break it. Go. All right, take them out before they come back. Ah, get stuck on the spear unit. Okay, we're good. Oh, they bounce back, they bounce back. Be careful. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, uh, they got caught up in this unit. Can we just kill that? It's only 33 men. Charge. Actually, charge on this. Mm. Oh, okay. We beat them. Good. Now we can try to fight the melee. Alright, go kill those. So a little bit of extra pressure on these guys here. Want to free this unit up. Alright, charge them. Okay, charge that. Take care of the general. Going after our strategist. Run! Go, go kill some of the stranglers. Alright, Ganning is out here hunting down range units. Okay, prevent the flank by flanking their flank. Stay on him. Uh, we're not making good use of our cavalry. They need to be rear charging units. Like this. Uh, they didn't really build up speed. But they got out of that mess. Now we'll pull them out. Set them up over here first. Hmm. We need Ganning's roar over here. That's what we need. Okay, they won. Great. Set it up, set it up. You two need to go here. Run them down. Actually, why don't we kill him first? Alright, you can come back. Oh, these guys are so strong. Nice. Take that. Take that. Finish this, hurry up. Yeah, damn, we can do this. Oh my god, they got more. Wow. They got four more. Okay. It's not going to be that easy. Let's take care of that. Alright, see if you guys can rear charge this sword unit. Alright, this should wreck that. Oh, wow. He has abilities. Aren't you special? Alright, we need you to line yourself up here. Good, good, good. Alright, we need them back here. We need them in a line. Get the cavalry out. So we can actually go into formations. 
formation. Come on. Let them charge into us. Oh, we still have traps. Hmm. Throw them. We'll fight that. Rear charge. Roar. Take that. Take that. Alright. Work on a flank here. Work on a flank here. Boost. Engage. Cavalry out. Yeah, chase someone else down. Ah, they didn't pull out enough. Alright, surround them. Charge this. Ah, just go in, charge. Man, everyone's so tired. Alright, time to flank. Uh, pull, pull angle. Actually, there's traps on the ground. Maybe not. Bad idea. Charge this. Alright, we've got them boxed in. Go crush that. Roar. Alright, that's it. That's it. We did it! Oh, what a crazy fight. Heroic victory, indeed. Alrighty. Let's see how many we actually killed. We killed 2,600 in that battle. Pretty good. Uh, this, that means they still have tons of men left, though. Alright, we got the item from uh, Hainan Yue. Ooh, we caught a bunch. Um, so we're not going to release here. We're going to actually... Ooh, burn officer. Execute. If we can't have him, we have to kill him. Mm, oh, this is tough. See, I could release and hope to capture him again in the next fight. Yeah, let's do that. He's great traits, super young. Let's release. It'll just make our next fight harder because we'll lose ammo. Um, let's see, he's in the... He's in the army that's guarding the city. She's not. This is Han Sui's daughter. Who doesn't get along with Han Sui. Faction rivalry. Got married into Liu Bao's family. Um, she's in the army outside. So we could actually release her. It wouldn't hurt us. But executing her also wouldn't hurt us at all. I'm trying to think. He's in the army with Liu Bao. The best case for him is to employ him and then just release him. That way the whole retinue is gone. If we execute, Liu Bao can send a general out from his pool to replace him. And that could be, you know, Huang Zhong, who would make our life much harder. Releasing will keep him in that army, which will also make our life a lot harder. So we're going to employ. She's optional. I mean, we haven't... I mean, we dealt with Han Sui already. He's off our list. Yeah, we can say goodbye to her. It doesn't matter if he summons a general to replace her because she won't be in the army guarding the city. Um, we don't need the movement, but we really need the replenishment, but then we'll be in battle tired. Actually, yeah, we don't need the replenishment. The siege weapon is going to be the star of the next fight. Alright, we have a few well-deserved level ups here. Let's see, Gan Ning leveled up. We could, you know, let's see. We really want him just to be fast. Guerrilla deployment would be really nice. You can start out behind the enemy line. Wildfire is also really good for speed. Yeah, we'll probably just go for wildfire. 
it works in his favor with the you know uh, as long as he's moving he's gaining more speed he's gaining more charge gaining more mass it'll make his charge hurt more and also make us easier to run away after we shoot a couple arrows into them uh, he should deserve this guy you know he's done well for us we have a few options um we could not night battle uh, we're definitely night battling who am i kidding all right let's just finish them off here Commander who scales city walls, win 10 siege battles as attacker. Okay. Uh, both of these items aren't that useful. Alright, this fight will cut out because we'll just be sieging against, like, you know, shattered units. There's no general here. Um, we'll see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Occupy here. We're gonna let them get away, just so he can bounce back, and we have another chance to capture him. He's someone we're interested in. Let's see how they build this commandery. So, labor building's not all that bad. Honestly, they build it really, really well. Um, we probably just upgrade this. And then we have 1.9 million population. We should get a administrator in here. So he's in Xiangyang, I believe, and she's in Nanyang, I think. Yeah. Mm, we don't have another administrative slot, but we should definitely think about switching one of them over here. Or we can just do food production, right? We can upgrade this to five, upgrade this to five, and then just downgrade the commandery down. Nah, food doesn't make sense here. It's a good income place. This is a great industry, um, yeah, industry and peasantry place. So keep these three, tear down this for a state workshop, tear down this for a private workshop, and I think we're good. And that's the right build. So let's demolish. Mm, we could use the population growth for now. Let's demolish this. Right? Because it doesn't make sense to both increase your public order and then also have something that increase your population. Because this by itself counteracts all potential public order issues. Uh, because all you need is population growth to counteract population um, public order issues. So we want this building here. We just need a reform. Which one do we need actually? Oh, shaft mining, which is something we want anyways for the iron mines. So I think either we pick this up next turn considering that we don't have a school ready. Yeah, that's probably the way to go here. So we'll keep that. And over here, we probably wanna go income route. So let's swap. All right, so that's good. They're going after the re rebels. I think we moved all our armies. Here we just want food production for now. Is it going food? No, it's going actually going income. Yeah, let's go. Maybe we should switch this one to food. We should get less ambitious about some of our commanderies. We can flip this back to a fishing port and then get rid of this building. And instead go for like maybe a forge. Just get some item. Make this more utility than income. Alright, so that's a utility build. Um, let's pop that up. Waiting for a reform. So yeah, shaft mining is going to be pretty good. Considering a lot of our commanders could use it. I kind of want to trade this away. It can be Tal Tal's problem. Let's see if he's willing to trade a farmland for a city. I don't. I don't think he's willing. Food is food is at an extreme premium in the game, and I don't think he cares that this is the former capital. It doesn't come with the emperor. Oh, only five points. That's actually a price. Hold on. That's a price I'm willing to exchange. He can take this. And then we can maybe even get some gold out of him. 
Let's throw him something else. Let's throw him another, another item. And then, oh, that's not enough, huh? Should we throw you another item? Yeah, well, we have seven stone pigs. Uh, but even then, we want to get rid of the lower tier ones first. Give us a little bit extra gold here. Oh, that's a big jump. Um, 70? 69. Nope, 67. 65. Okay, we'll do that. We'll give him some items. We'll get the farmland back. Alright, perfect. So, on the map, yeah, our territory is more, you know, continuous. Uh, he can have Intron. We have Intron's farmland right now. We have, yeah, we have the interesting parts. We're going to wipe this out. Um, maybe I'll give Dobe a different target. Now that we're actually sending armies over. He doesn't need to be doing the fighting. Oh, he is at war with a lot of our enemies. That's good. Um, change targets. Hmm. Hmm. How should we do this? I want to give him a target where he's not actually going to go for. Maybe just attack this random army here and see what he does. If he marches that main army out, that'd be pretty interesting. All right, we have a few. Ooh, how much? Yeah, yeah, you're you're terribly mean to us, considering what we have done for you. Okay, this is reasonable. Um, once again, give them two random items, one fish. Done deal. They have realized that we are their true friend in this time of need. Yeah, there's nothing we really want you to do. Just stay put. We're here to fight you. We want this guy to join us. That's about it. We don't really care about Liu Bell at this point. He's not coming out. We're, oh, we can remove her from the army. That's good. So basically we're trying to reduce characters that he has in the army so that he can summon himself out. So we can remove either him or him. He's administrators, but she's definitely on the field. So she's gone. Goodbye. We can even do it to him. Because why not? That removes two of his generals. Maybe he'll think about putting himself out there. Wait, we have one more spy. That's right. Zhang Yang's faction. Yeah, there's nothing to do in his faction. His faction is completely worthless. And uh, they're marching down, but the second they fight, she's going to turn on him. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. Alright. Let's see. Huangzu doesn't want to be under him anymore. Okay. Ah, Zhuge Liang has joined the world. In Liu Bei's faction, though. Oh, dear. We might need to take up his offer on the spy, just to keep an eye on... Hmm, how do we do this? This might be hard to actually fight Zhuge Liang. I don't really want to betray Liu Bei. We can try to marriage him out of the faction. If Liu Bei adopts him. Right. Yeah, that's difficult. We'll think about it. We'll think about how to get Zhuge Liang off our list. But he's on the map now, uh, so we can go after him. Um, we're going to just continue our expansion in the north. And Ma Chao is going to go over there. Seems like Zhang Fei and them actually listen. They're actually going for this army. That's pretty funny. Uh, Zhang Yang's about to get a rude awakening from Guo Jia. And in the south, we're going to continue to wipe, down, uh, wipe out Liu Bao's forces. He did summon out Huang Zhong like we expect. We want to recruit him, so beating them again, Poli will be able to let him let us convince him to join us. Huang Zhong is 75. I'm not. I mean, I don't have to take him into our faction at this point, but it'd be nice. I wouldn't mind it. So we'll be doing this fight next episode. 
Uh, they'll just be cleaning up over here. And then once we get Badong, we can continue to go south, open the path uh, to reach him so that we can just summon Lu Bu over to take care of that at the end. Actually, he doesn't even need to personally come down. There's no one on the checklist here. We can just have our second army beat them down. And that'll be that. So going pretty well. We're going to continue our Han respiration, uh, rest, restoration over here. And then we'll go convince Gong Sun to come out onto the field. Uh, Zhuge Liang is on the field now. So we've got to figure out a way to fight him as well. And I'm kind of curious what his bonus is. Uh, great strategist. 25% ammo. Okay, not, not a must-have, but... It'd be nice to have. So, uh, still missing Sima Yi and Pang Tong, but they should be coming pretty quick now that Zhuge Liang has joined the world. So, see you guys next time. Bye!